People are talking about business software. They're talking about it here. They're talking about it here. Are you ready for these conversations? This is Conversational ERP. The goal of our course is to give you the professional vocabulary that you need to participate in and contribute to these business conversations. Let's begin. Lesson two, how can ERP help with different inventory strategies? Why are we talking about inventory strategies? Well, let's start with a very basic truth. Your business runs on cash. Cash is like oxygen. If you run out of cash, you can't pay your suppliers, your lenders, your landlord, your employees, and then everything you do comes to an abrupt stop. If you run out of oxygen, you die. If you run out of cash, your business dies. Which brings us to inventory. You have to invest some of your precious cash in inventory, either finished goods inventory to sell to your customers, or materials inventory to use in a production process. But the key word here is invest. Inventory is an investment. Like any investment, if you manage your inventory well, you'll get a great return. How? Well, you spend your cash on inventory, you quickly add value to that inventory, for example, by using it to manufacture that finished product, and then you can quickly convert it back to cash by selling it at a profit. That's how to think about inventory. It's cash that you temporarily convert into something else, something that you can later convert back into more cash than you started with. However, if you don't manage your inventory well, not only will you not get a good return, but you'll discover that inventory can actually be one of the easiest, fastest, and most effective ways to really screw up your entire business. In extreme cases, mismanaging your inventory can lead your business straight into bankruptcy. You have to decide how much to invest in inventory. You have to have a strategy for inventory. So yes, by all means, let's talk about inventory strategy. As a reminder, here's the diagram of our core ERP system that we drew together in lesson one of this course. It's got everything we need to run our business. Let's zoom in on inventory. When you're trying to set an inventory strategy, you have to balance two opposing forces. You can't underinvest in inventory because if you don't have what customers want, when they want it, your customer service suffers. Your customers will leave and buy from someone else and you'll go out of business. But you can't overinvest in inventory either because you could run out of cash, be unable to pay your bills, and again, you'll go out of business. What you need is just enough inventory to satisfy customer demands and absolutely no more inventory than necessary. Let's see how customer service and cash oppose each other. This green graph shows you how much cash we invest in inventory. And this gold graph shows our lead time, which is the length of time we make our customers wait to supply them with our products. Lead time is a major contributor to customer service. At the far right, we have lots of inventory, so our lead time is very short, and presumably our customers are very happy because we can meet their demands instantly. But we've had to invest a lot of cash to support this. At the far left, we have almost no inventory. We only buy inventory and start manufacturing if a customer actually places an order. We make our customers wait a long time, and perhaps they aren't happy about it, but on the other hand, we don't have to tie up our cash in inventory that might not sell. Now you don't have to be on one end or the other. You can position your inventory at almost any point along this continuum. Let's go over some of the most common inventory strategies. Make to stock means you maintain an inventory of finished goods, ready to sell when customers call for them. I'm sure you can think of examples. An easy one is food. When a grocery store orders milk from a dairy, it wants that milk the next day, not six weeks from now. The dairy has to have milk in inventory at all times in order to meet customer demand. Make to order means you don't maintain any inventory at all, not until a customer places an order. Some businesses have to run as make to order. Imagine a company that installs audiovisual systems in conference rooms. They can't know which products customers want until a specific customer order comes in. Some businesses run part way between make to stock and make to order. An assemble to order strategy means that you keep some semi finished items in inventory, and then when the customer places an order, you finish them off and deliver them. 
you're trying to offer shorter lead times without committing too much cash to inventory. Think of high-tech companies that build server racks. They have the servers, they have the racks, but they have to put them together differently depending on exactly what the customer orders. A similar strategy is configure to order. It's like assemble to order, except that the customer can only choose from a predefined set of options. This lets you offer even shorter lead times to customers because you've got an inventory of nearly finished products that you can finish and ship very quickly. The classic example is Dell Computer, who let you choose the memory, storage, and accessories for your laptop and then ship it to you almost overnight. The last strategy is at the far left, engineer to order. Some businesses have to run this way because no one, not even the customer, knows exactly what the customer actually wants. The final product will be a unique product that meets the customer's exact requirements. These type of products, by definition, are not part of any manufacturer's stock inventory. Think of the aerospace industry. If you want a communication satellite, you're likely going to have to build it from scratch to the customer's exact specifications. So, how does all of this relate to conversational ERP? Because the planning engine in your ERP system can help support the inventory strategy you choose for your business. As you recall from Lesson 1, the planning engine calculates the optimum inventory levels for your business. A good ERP system will let you specify which inventory strategy to use for each of your products. If you want to run make to stock, it will make sure you have the right amount of finished goods. If you want to run make to order or engineer to order, it will make sure you don't have any inventory unless it's for a specific customer order. And if you want to run assemble to order or configure to order, it will make sure you have the right amount of semi-finished goods. In summary, a good ERP system will help support multiple different inventory strategies depending on what you need to run your business. The planning system can help you automatically balance between those two powerful but opposing forces customer service in the form of customer lead time, and inventory in the form of cash invested. This is literally the balance between time and money. And again, these inventory strategies include make to stock, configure to order, assemble to order, make to order, and engineer to order. Thanks very much for watching. This concludes Lesson 2.